Hey guys, it's me Wiley here with another video for you. How are you doing? I hope you are well. So today's video is all about communications. So outside of being a life coach, I'm a communication consultant and I teach individuals as well as business professionals the basics of how to communicate effectively. So I have six ways or six signs that you are a bad communicator and I wrote them down there right here on my little handy dandy notebook right here so that I can remember to get you together. So this is how you know you could be the problem in your relationship and your communication issues. Number one, you deflect. When someone has an issue with you and they're trying to address how they feel and let you in on the issue, you can tend to deflect. And what I mean by deflect is you will change the whole subject <laughs> and start talking about something else. They could be talking to you about why you keep burning the food because you got the stove up too high and then you'll start talking about it's 70 degrees outside and spring is on the way. Don't deflect. Number two, signs that you are a bad communicator. You don't take ownership. This is probably the worst <laughs> type of communicator when they refuse to take ownership. Like they won't own anything. Like you could see them, catch them red handed with leaving the toilet seat up and yet they won't take ownership. They'll be like, what? It was already like this when I got in here. What happened? I didn't do that. Surely it wasn't me. Take ownership. When you take ownership, it makes the other person feel respected. However, when you don't, that person can get offended and feel like, dang, well, why aren't you owning your stuff? Like, what is that about? It's not good. The third sign that you are a bad communicator. Number three, you cut people off. I used to be guilty of this. I used to cut people off all the time. And why I would cut people off is for two reasons. The first reason is I have short-term memory. That's why I got these notes right here. So I can remember what I want to say. <laughs> and then the second point of the second reason why I used to cut people off would be, be because I want to get my point across. I want them to hear what I have to say. So I would forget. So I got to hurry up and say it. Or I would assume that I knew what they were about to say. So there are two reasons why people may cut you off. They cut you off because they got something to say and they may not remember it. Me, I'm guilty. And then another reason is they think they know what you're about to say. So if you're a person that cuts someone off, I need for you to stop this. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes practice. Me personally, it took me just writing things down in an, in an, not an argument, writing things down in a conversation while someone is addressing an issue with me that they have with me because no one's perfect. You know, we all have our shortcomings and then that's another thing that's just a side note don't get on the defense when someone is trying to have a conversation with you because they love you they like you that's why they're trying to address it if they didn't care then they wouldn't be trying to have the conversation so keep that in mind and quit cutting people off number four reasons why you're a bad communicator you refuse to listen you won't listen to save your life I don't know what it is if you're distracted and you're just too busy on your phone. I remember a guy dated many years ago. We were needing to have a serious conversation. It doesn't matter what it was about, but he was sitting right next to me on the couch. And when I say his phone was like this to his face, literally, and I'm like, dude, so you're just going to be rude and I'm sitting right here. So you're deliberately being rude. Don't be that guy. That guy didn't last a long time in my life, needless to say. Don't be that guy or girl. When someone is trying to have a conversation with you, don't be distracted. Don't get on your phone. Just tune in. I need for your antennas to be up because guess what? When you're trying to say something to someone that's of importance to you, wouldn't you be on the wouldn't you be or wouldn't you feel disrespected? If they then got on their phone and started texting, but they they they're texting, but they're like, I'm listening, but they're steady, but they're steady texting. It's just rude. Just don't do that. Number five, you're always the victim. This is a telltale sign that you have a communication issue. So when it's time to communicate, yes, you will communicate. However, you make it about you. Everything is always happening to you. News flash, things don't always just happen to you. Sometimes it's your fault that things are happening to you. Once you begin to open your eyes and understand that and realize that and accept that, then hey, we can be on and we can grow. We can evolve. I mean, I'm guilty of this one too. I had to like really get myself, my own self together because I would always play the victim like I'm the victim, this happened to me he left me why did he do that why did they do this why did that job do that if that sounds familiar if you feel like you hear yourself saying that a lot of the times sometimes it's not them it's you take 
ownership. Because even if any experience that we've been in that didn't end so well, we played a part in that experience. So learn to take ownership of your part and know that you are not a victim. Number six, this is the last step of sign that you are a bad communicator. You point the finger. You're always pointing the finger at someone else when you're the issue or you made the mistake, but yet you want to point the finger back at them. Oh, what about you? What did you do? Guess what you did? Oh, I remember when you did this 10 years ago. Don't be that guy. So these are the six ways to know that you're the problem when it comes to communicating. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not coming at you, but I am coming at you because when we communicate, that is the number one issue outside of finances in a relationship is communication, bad communication. So if we fix and tweak the way we communicate, then things will be a lot smoother and we'll be less fearful when it's time to ha have a conversation about an issue and fear less because we know how to address it appropriately. All right, guys, if you want more communication insight, feel free to drop it in my notes here. I'm on Instagram, of course, here, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok all the time. I would love to address your question. Just let me know and I will help you out. Until next time, feel free to subscribe since you've made it here this far. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when my next video is up. I do videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and I'll see you next time. Bye!